Welcome back to the show where we give you all the Dolphins news you need to know about. This first report is on Tony Lippett's injury, and this report comes from NBC Sports. The Dolphins are down a starting cornerback. Tony Lippett has torn his Achilles tendon and will miss the entire season. Lippett, who started 13 games last season, was a 2015 fifth-round draft pick of the Dolphins. He suffered the injury during Monday's practice. The injury, the injury is a significant blow to the Dolphins' defense and special teams. Lippett played 70%, 75% of the Dolphins' defensive snaps and 36% of the Dolphins' special teams team snaps last season. Lippitt's torn Achilles is another piece of bad luck for a Dolphins team that has already lost their starting quarterback Ryan Tannehill for the season after a practice injury. This is a really, really tough pill to swallow. Obviously, Tony Lippitt was a huge part of why we made the playoffs last year, grabbing four interceptions, and when we had injuries to our boundary corners last season, he stepped, into, stepped up in a big, bad way. Uh, so this is this hurts our depth. Obviously, this hurts special teams a lot. Uh, Tony Lippitt was taking another big step in his development. He was having a great great off season. So this is a tough, tough break for us. Obviously the good the good the silver lining to this is Xavier Howard and Byron Maxwell were starting over him anyway. Obviously this hurts our depth um, at cornerback. So who's gonna step up? Obviously, Cordrea Tankersley, who we drafted uh, this past draft, he can step up in a big, bad way. He's gotten a lot of snaps at the slot corner uh, position, but he obviously has taken a, a bunch of reps on the outside as well, especially in the preseason game. That's most of the snaps he took. We also have Tory McTire uh, out of UNLV. He's had a really good offseason, and he had a really good preseason game against the Falcons. It's going to be interesting to see which one of those guys is, because they're both rookies, is, gonna, is ready to step up and uh, play that third cornerback. Uh, position because both have had uh, really good off season. So it's going to be interesting to see. Um, let me know who you guys like more, uh, Tory McTire or uh, Cordrea Tankersley. This next report is detailing Kenyon Drake's injury. This report comes from CBS Sports. Drake Head has been placed in the NFL's concussion protocol. Armando Silguero of the Miami Herald reports. Drake was injured at Monday's practice on a head-to-head collision. He'll be held out for at least Thursday's preseason game against the Ravens, which should leave more snaps for Damian Williams, who is jolting with Drake for backup work. Meanwhile, starter J.H.I. has been removed from the league's concussion protocol more than two weeks after initially suffering the injury. So the bad news about this injury is it takes reps away from Kenyon Drake, who I thought had a strong performance in the Atlanta Falcons game. It looked like he was more comfortable within the playbook and within this offense, and it was interesting to see how uh, we were going to use him for the rest of preseason. Sucks that he's going to miss Thursday game, Thursday's game against the Ravens. Hopefully he's back in time for the Eagles game. Um, we can only hope. Uh, J.J. is obviously back, so that's great news. He is heavily rumored that he will play in Thursday night's game. Uh, Adam Gase has not ruled him out yet. He said he's thinking about it, so let's hope he gets some extra reps there as well. He's been trying to work on his receiving game, um, and that sucks that he got, obviously, with the concussion with TJ McDonald. Uh, he'd be more far along in that area. So hopefully we see some, some of that in Thursday's preseason game. This next report is on quarterback Jay Cutler. This report comes from ESPN. Dolphins quarterback Jay Cutler will make his debut with the team on Thursday against the Baltimore Ravens in Miami's second preseason game. Head coach Adam Gase said, Tuesday. So this should get us excited at least to see what Jay Cutler can do with the ones against the Baltimore Ravens ones. Adam Gase also said uh, that they're going to get a couple of drives as opposed to last week's preseason game where we only saw the ones get one drive. Hopefully we see more of the starting offensive line. Obviously in last week's preseason game we only saw Jermon Bushrod out there. So it'll be nice to see the full-blown starters out there against the Baltimore Ravens defense and see what they can do with this high-octane offense that we have down here in Miami. Let me know your opinion on this news. This is this is some significant news for the Dolphins. We're going to get in it to more in tomorrow's podcast, but I need to hear what you guys think. And remember, guys, if you have any questions about this news, post them on the fan Q&A. Get your questions in uh, so I can answer it in the podcast. And I am SkyX1083, and I will see you guys in the next one. Before we start the podcast, let's get through the rig and roll first. Remember, guys, this podcast posts each and every single Wednesday. The first segment of the show, we go through all the Miami Dolphins news you need to know about. The second segment of the show, we go through all the AFC East news you need to know about. The third segment of the show, we highlight some of the players that are must-watches on game day. And the fourth segment of the show, we go through the Miami Dolphins fan Q&A.